All right, guys, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the belt. Mark, come. So the first thing you want to do, pull my hand, grab it once, wrap it on your wrist, one and two, okay? Now, if you really want to get nasty, you take a big-ass belt buckle, you sharpen the edges, wear it, it's easy to conceal, uh, you can get into a club with it, you can use it any time. If you use it and you actually hurt the person, it's easy to say, fuck, I panicked, I took off my belt, I used it, I hit the guy, I didn't know what I was doing, I was just... So, um, the way you want to use it, this is my favorite way, there's many ways of using it. I don't believe you can do the shit that you see where you parry and trap and strike, I think it's way too technical, and, you know, it doesn't really work. Uh, this is the simplest way, it gives you access to have one hand free, you have the hand so you can strike, you can grab, you can still strike and kick, you can use the other hand as uh, with your belt. Now it's great to use for multiple attacks, it's great to use especially against the knife. So again, I'm not going to risk trying to take off my belt while the guy's in the middle of while the guy's attacking me. I'll use it if I think shit's going to hit the fan, I'll pull it out, I'll wrap it out if I'm going outside a club and I know or whatever it is, I'm in a situation where I know maybe two guys are going to be waiting for me. Fine, I'll take it out before, I'll wrap it, I'll come out with it, when it happens I'll just fucking start using it, okay? Now we're going to do a little scenario on how we could use it against the knife. So Mark? Mark's objective is going to be to stab me with a knife, okay? Obviously, I'm going to go light, because I don't want to, like, actually hit him. But I want you to see a little bit of what it would look like. Mark, so... Okay, perfect. Here you go, little fuck, kill my brother, man! If this happens, now, whatever. He, okay, we ended up here. The belt is no longer useful, so what would I do? I'd strike him. I'll bite you. You have... Come here. Start hitting Smacking, whatever it is, okay? Now, I had a clear shot at you, Yeah. but I was like too scared to actually, I don't want to take yeah. a chance of actually hitting him with the belt buckle, I don't know, I don't I'm want to crack it and, and, you know, fuck up your hand. But it gives you an idea that if I do start from here, right, I got a clear shot, all I need to do is step in. Another good thing you can do is shorten the belt, so go, you're here, he's judging his range, go back, because I, I had a clear shot at you again. So if I'm here, he's judging the range, bah, I just hit him. Okay, go back again, right, go again, so if I want to try to hit the weapon hand, oh, shit, you okay? Let's try to hit the weapon hand from here, or here, but once he, once he comes in, forget the belt, trap, and start striking. Can you use the belt and try to choke him with it? I don't know, I think it's too technical. Adrenaline. Huh? Adrenaline. Yeah, adrenaline kicks in, I find it's way too technical. So, all I would do is this, hey, come on, motherfucker. Oh, shit, you okay? No, hit you? no, no, okay. Good, man. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, this guy's when I use it, cuz, this is actually a full metal belt. So if I actually crack you in the head or in the face or whatever, I'm gonna fucking cut you, okay? So it's a great weapon to use.